Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another 100% achievement guide and this time we are getting it all in Blacksmith Forger. Now this was developed by Light Ape Games, published by Weakfish Studios and at the time of recording has no price. So assume it to be a little more than free, probably roughly about the 4 to 5 buck mark, as per usual. So this is a game where we basically have to make things and sell them. Oh yes, and you know that every blacksmith has a big, mean, massive moustache and a big, shiny, bald head? Yes, they're, they're, this is no different. Um, so yeah, that is literally all we're doing. Um, literally, we've got to make a few things, sell them on, and to get all the achievements, all we have to do is sell up to 10 items. So yes, 10 achievements for selling 10 items, job done. It is nice and easy. Uh, and there's really not a lot else to say about this one. So, again, it's going to take you around... Uh, probably sort of uh, between, just under 10 minutes, roughly about or so, something like that. So, with that being said then, la 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 let's do it! And of course, we are going to jump straight into the tutorial. So what you need to do, have a look on the left there, press the A button to pick up the silver ingot, and then put it in the oven. Press the A button again to put it in the oven. Wait until it cooks. Delicious! Pick it up, go over to the blue bit of water there, and again, press the E button to pop it in. Go and uh, have a look at the recipe book. So, of, of course, this is what you need to do with the recipe. Two ingots and a piece of wood makes a big sword, etc, etc. Go up and grab a piece of wood, and then pop it on the first, uh, on the right-hand side of the anvil right there. Then grab the ingot, pop it onto the second one, and that will automatically make the dagger. So you pick up the dagger, you give it to the customer, and, ta-da, you've got monos, fantastic. Um, no, I, I I don't know if I accidentally played the tutorial again here. Um, but anyway, this is, whether I played or whether I played the tutorial, you just got to do the same thing again. So pick up a silver ingot and put it in the oven. Wait until it's cooked and then put it in the blue water. Go and grab a piece of delicious wood after you have a look at the quick uh, recipe book. Delicious, delicious. Uh, put it on there and grab the silver ingot and then grab the dagger again. So I don't know if this is like the first sort of customer or level or whatever. Um, but anyway, that will get you the achievement for selling one item straight away. So job done. So I don't know if you can keep playing the tutorial to get it or whether we have to play. I didn't actually test that one out. So, uh, but the first couple of customers are very easy. Uh, all we got to do then is get one of the gold ingots. So obviously the gold box at the top there, pop that one square in the oven. Pop it in the oven for baby and moo. Yes, it's a cow baby. Uh, you can't give it to the customer straight away. Just go up and put it square in the blue water. It's like kind of like a baby making game, this one. Is this how babies are made? Well, that's what I'm going to tell my kids anyway. Confuse them a bit later on in life. So there's a, another one done. And the next customer wants... You guessed it, Gringo. He wants the same thing. So, pick up the gold ingot and pop it in the um, oven for baby and me. I am going to stop saying that. Pick it up, of course. Pop it square in the blue water. Uh, not the green water. There we go. Come on, Baldy. There we go. Maybe, maybe it's the lack of hair that's getting into his brain. Or not getting into his brain. Pick it up. Give it to El Customaro. Thank you. Nice mustache, by the way. Right. And the third customer wants another one. So, pick it up. Pop it in the of on the baby making blacksmith forger game. Yes, this is how they used to do it in the 1800s, and that's why many women were pregnant because blacksmiths are manly men. Mm. Anyway, once that's done, pick it up. Sometimes it might be a little bit finicky, so just walk away and go back if that happens. The next guy wants a silver one, so of course you're going to pick up these silver pieces of metal once again. Pop that square on the of on. And wait, and there we go, pop that square in the blue water of life. There's the flamingo, with my baby. Grab it, give it to the customer, and that's already five items that we're grabbing. Right, now we're on to the daggers. Now if you remember from the tutorial, we need to grab a silver. Now I'm not sure if these are going to be random, if the customer's requests are going to be random. So if they are, of course, just have a look in the recipe book. Um, you know, it's very easy to understand. For longer swords, you're going to need, like, uh, two ingots and one piece of wood. 
Uh, for shields, you just need two ingots and another piece of wood, etc, etc. Uh, but anyway, so this is the first one, just like from the tutorial, so grab that one. Then we're gonna go ahead and grab uh, one for a small gold dagger, so a bit of gold metal. Stick that square on the avant. And then, ta-da! Pick it up, put it on the blue water, go and grab another piece of wood. Apparently we've got unlimited amount of wood, which comes in handy, has to pay less. Pop that on the right hand side of the anvil, then the gold on the second one, and that's the gold dagger complete. Right, now we are going to be making, once again, yet another small silver dagger. So, it's the same thing again, of course. And, and this is what I mean, this game is completely very, very easy. Um, again, I'm not sure if the customer requests are going to be random for you. Um, but again, if that's the case, just look in the recipe book, uh, generally it is easy enough. So I'll just show you where, where everyone pops up here. So we're already on to eight items, and we now have to make a shield. So now we will look at the recipe book, and at the bottom, as you can see, you need the wood in the middle, and then the uh, two gold ingots either side of it. So, uh, well, oh, in fact, no, not gold, sorry, we need silver, because that's what the customer wants, sorry. <laughs> I was scared to, ah, oh, what a dum-dum. Right, so there we go. Go ahead and do the same thing as you've been doing. Go grab some wood. Remember to pop, pop that in the middle, so where it says two. And then pick it up, pop this one on the first one, and then do the same thing once again. Now, if you do have an item that you accidentally um, messed up on or whatever, there is a bin just to where, where the three hearts are at the bottom right-hand corner. That is where you can basically just trash anything that you don't need. If you can't put anything down, but uh, there's a shield anyway, so we're gonna pick that one up Now what would have been easier was I, I should have just made another shield here, but I thought that was a dagger So um, it's actually a long sword again in which you need two silver ingots and um, One piece of wood So I'm just having a quick look at the recipe book here. So as you can see It's the wood which you actually need to put on the right hand side um, I believe so I've so what I ended up doing was putting the two silver ingots uh, in one and two, but I do believe it was supposed to be switched over because uh, that's how things are made. So apparently I just completely dumb dumb that one up there. Uh, you obviously need the wood to start things off with. Uh, but that's all good, so uh, obviously nothing's happened here and I've gone, hey, where's my blacksmith? Because <laughs> again, that's how blacksmiths probably talked in the 1800s. Uh, but again, if you do make a mistake, just go and put it in the bin right there, or the trash can, whatever you want to call it. Um, that's the small dagger, of course, so we don't need that one. So you just do the same thing, and then that's basically game complete. So, yeah, it's 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 a very easy game. And you know what? It is it's quite enjoyable as well, in all fairness. I, I do enjoy these little games like this. So hopefully if they come out with more title updates or something in the future, it would be good to... Uh, potentially sell some more items with a few more recipes, but anyway, uh, that is that for now then, so that's 10 achievements all done, a very easy 1000 again, so thank you so, so much for watching guys and gals, hope you enjoyed the game and the guide helped as well, if you did of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share with a friend as well, big shout out to all my Patreon supporters and YouTube members as well, so thank you so much, I will see you in the next one, big old love love.